back to another Grab and Go. My name is Noemi from the Palmy Branch Library, and this week we're going to be working on the farmhouse wall hanger. Now we're going to go over the things that come in the kit. As always, we have the written instructions. We have a pre-painted pizza pan, and I'll talk more about this in a little bit. So we'll put that aside. We also have a Ziploc bag that has a whole bunch of stuff in it, including one long piece of thick nautical rope, two pieces of lace ribbon, just like this, one piece of black and white plaid ribbon, like this, two pieces of pine garland, just like this, one piece of white pipe cleaner, one little piece of twine, and some glitter foam letters that when you put them together will spell home, just like that. And one last thing, we have a pine cone. So now a little more about the pizza pan. What we did is we got like a regular pizza pan from the Dollar Tree, just like this. And we pre-painted it with some matte white spray paint, just like this. We did two coats. We did one coat, let it dry for 24 hours. Did a second coat, let it dry for 24 hours. And then we went on to paint with using a sponge brush. We used chalkboard black paint to do the black band. Again, we let it dry for 24 hours before we did any decorating. Okay, so we're gonna start our craft project by putting on the lace ribbon, which is this one. Now, you might wanna spread them out like this, and if one is a little bit bigger than the other one, then that's the one that's gonna go first on top. And so we place it on there. We'll place the other one at the bottom, and of course we're gonna hot glue these, but before you do, this is just me being an OCD uh, kind of person. If you'll notice the pattern on there, I would put it this way or make sure that this one's this way and this one's this way, but you can do it any way you want. Just because the pattern is uh, goes outward. So we're gonna take our hot glue and we're gonna start hot gluing these. And hot glue is really an interesting thing. You have to do it a little at a time and start gluing as you go because otherwise the hot glue will be, will dry and it won't let you glue. And so right along the edge of the black area, you're gonna start gluing it. And sometimes you get those extra little pieces of glue. Don't worry about it. It's, it's okay if you do that and I'll explain a little bit in a, in a while. So now we've hot glued the lace along the edges of the black area, and you'll notice that we have some spare uh, little bit of the lace on each side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut off some of this. Uh, with your scissors, you can go ahead and cut that off right there. And what I'm gonna do is with the hot glue, just put a little bit of glue on this side to make sure that it is secured along the back. So just a little dab of glue on each end and then fold the pieces so that they stay down. And if you wanna do this part, that's fine. If you wanna cut it directly on the edge, that's fine too. It really doesn't matter because this is going to be covered by the nautical. Right along here is going to be covered by the nautical tape. So now we're getting ready to glue our nautical rope. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here. Now it's important that you start in this area and I'll explain why as I go. You see the nautical rope is very thick so it's gonna go all along the edge, but the piece you're gonna get is not really big enough to go completely all the way around in some cases. So when you're going around and you're gluing this, eventually you're gonna come up at the very end with a little space that did not get covered by the nautical rope. But that's okay, 
because guess what? That's where the rest of your decorations are gonna go. So it's not really gonna be seen. So the, the point that needs to be covered is this area and you can leave this part empty if you like. And so, like I said, in some cases, there'll be a little bit extra rope. In other cases, there might be, it might be a little shorter and it will not go all the way around. The point is to cover as much of the pizza pan all the way around as possible until you get to the other end. Now in this case, I made it all the way around. See, like this. And so, there you go. And if it overlaps, again, no big deal. You're gonna have another decoration right here to cover it, so. You can just leave it like as is. So at this point, this is when we're gonna use our pine garland. And you'll notice that it's two pieces, but they're in a V, so we're just gonna overlap them, and we're gonna put them right about here, more or less. And you can decide how best to display them. I would say do it a little bit like this, or maybe like this. And of course, take your hot glue point at this point and just drop a big old glob of it right there. And once that, then you, of course, Press it down and glue that there. So at this point we're getting ready to do our bow and so we're gonna take our plaid ribbon and some people don't know how to do a bow. I find the easiest way to do that is just to fold it into a third like this, two thirds like this and then fold it in half. That's your midway point. You pinch that and then you unfold it and now you pull out what I call the tails of the, of the bow and I pull them down and I grab the ears, what I call the ears of the bow, kind of like a bunny ears. Now if at this point you find that the ears are too big and the tails are too small, then just pull, pull on the tails and make the bow the size and shape you want until you get it to where you want it. And of course, keep track of the middle, like this, and fluff it out, shape it, whatever. And then once you got that middle point, you take your pine cleaner and you wrap it around to hold the middle point. And you twist, twist, twist to hold that middle point. And you can adjust and play with it as you go to make it look the way you want. So, and so we know that it's going to go right here over the pine garland at this point. So we keep twisting. And once more, we're going to take our trusty glue gun and again, drop a big glob of it on there to make sure that it's well secured. So we're going to put that right there and put that on there and now the final piece is going to be the pine cone again push that down make sure it's secure once again with your glue gun a big old glob and you can put that pine cone right there and just hold it for a few minutes to make sure that it's secure, that it's actually holding on to it. And now, the tails are the only thing you have to worry about. You can take your tails of your ribbon, get the scissors, and cut at an angle. I like the angle on ribbon tails. So, and there we go. We have, it's pretty much done. And so this is when we are going to use our letters. And we can go ahead and put them on there. Now I should let you know that some of these letters are actually self-adhesive. 
you can actually do a peel and stick on the H. The O and E, you may have to use some hot glue. But before I do that, I should let you know, if you go to Dollar Tree, you may find some wood letters like this that you can find there. We did not include this in the kit. What we, we did a cheaper version, which is this. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, this is what, what's included in the kit, but you can use this too. You can look for these at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so now we're gonna do the hot glue on the letters. I've already done the H, so I'm gonna do the O right here and get rid of the things. Little webs. Little webs. <laughs> and so here comes the M. Do a little bit of the M right there. Be careful. Hot glue is of course hot. So you place it right there. And the E's already done. And so there you go. You have the letters already glued. Our last step is of course to have something to hang it up with. So that's when our little twine is for. We take our twine, we make a little knot right here, like this, so that it forms like this. And in the back, you will notice that there's actually a mark right here. And that is supposed to signify the halfway point. That way, when you put your little twine, it will be center placed. So you can put some glue right there. Put your twine. And you put a little bit more hot glue if you want it a little bit more secure. And you can put some like that. And of course, let it dry. Be careful. Then once it's dry, then you'll have this to hang it up from on your wall. Okay, so this is our finished craft right here. It's all ready to be hang up. And remember that this craft is available at the Palmy Branch Library on Wednesday, January 6th. Limited supply available, but most of these items can be found at either the Dollar Tree or your local craft store.